Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. It's been a little while. It's been um, actually kind of like a good week since I played this game. Um, and you might have noticed I ran out of episodes um, on... <laughs> there's no there's no more going up on the channel. It was not my intention to end the series. Um, I just got caught up with other things, namely Shadows of Doubt, which I really, really like that game a lot. So, uh, hey, check out my Shadows of Doubt series. Um, anyway... Hope you're doing well. I have to re-familiarize myself with what I was doing. Um, I think the flags are zones that I am looking for stuff in. I think I was going to Venture Cave. Unlikely heroes. We need to make sure we, you send an elf. Um, elf fighter. Okay, let's do an elf fighter. Elf fighter. Um, bet on boss. The market value of this dungeon's boss trophy is increased by 50%. I like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a Perseverance badge, maybe? Because this scales. This is quite a nice item, because it scales throughout the dungeon. Um, I can take a spoon. So this lets us store items for the future, which I really like. I'm not gonna take a god. Um, the problem with taking a god is, I, I didn't realize in the last episode that taking a god means you get a horrible debuff um and that's why everyone had cowardice and maybe that is super obvious uh and i you know should have realized that but i tend to forget the the simple easy things so um yeah you'll you'll have to forgive me i'm also probably not going to be too good today but let's see um give me one second um actually give me give me a moment okay so um let's see we got instincts can sense enemies further away into the fog gain xp when attacking by when attacked by higher level enemies oh that's an interesting distinction i didn't realize that gains xp when attacked by her higher level enemies and less xp needed per level so that's why in certain um stages i was getting xp when i shouldn't have been getting xp but really i should have been getting xp that is really good to know um I'm going to kill a couple things here because like I can, um, I don't, I want, want to leave some snacks, but the problem is, is like, uh, yeah. Okay. We want to, we want a level two. That's what I want. Now I could use a health potion. What's the benefit of the elf? Um, can see, okay. And XP start with a layer of death protection. No, that's all fighter stuff. What do I get for being an elf? Uh, I think it's just a conversion thing. I didn't mean to do that. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know how to stop that. It, it won't let me stop it, in fact. Um... Uh, I, like, really don't want to... Okay, we're just gonna... No, I, 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 I am stuck with that. Okay, right-click. Oh my god, that was a lot. Um, I don't have any spells. And this guy, unfortunately, is gonna take two hits. I could trade in my death protection, but that feels like a heavy toll. Um, tell you what... No, it's just, it's just not gonna be worth it. You know what? I'm just gonna level up. I'm going to kill these four dudes and level up because I, I don't like where that was going. Um, we'll still have our death protection, so that's good. There's a level three. We could try and kill level three. Yeah, this seems like infinitely better. So let's kill them and then I'm going to take a health potion and then so we keep our death protection. There we go. Um, there's a the level eight. We don't care about level eight, but we do care about the sub dungeon it is said that the twins yin and yang are immortal though this is a mere deception they can be defeated by one who is swift enough grind them down together okay well they're level seven they're 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 gonna kill me but there's immortal yang and immortal ying no experience bloodless interesting all right well we'll figure that out later it's gonna be one of those toughy uh puzzles hey let me see i don't i'm not a huge fan of let me see i find let me see to be not terribly worthwhile 
Um, oh, okay. Our conversion is plus one mana. Um, all right, we'll use, let me see once. Ooh, is that, that does, that did show us where our God is. So, um, actually that's not terrible. So let's head in that direction. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we, it, it, it's kind of pointless cause we can't go in that direction anyway. Let's see if we can kill. Oh, there we go. Biceps, biceps. I'm going to convert. Let me see right now. Because biceps has become, uh, is like officially put us on the map. So item glows slightly red when worn, um, offering a bonus of 10 maximum health. Yeah, we're definitely going to buy that, actually. That's going to be really good for us. In fact, it's going to pay us back almost right away. Um, we're level two, so this is actually going to level... Oh, you know what? That actually sucks. Um, we gained XP for taking a hit, which leveled us up, which I'm pretty sure means we, t we get less damage. Or we get less XP in, in total. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I am like completely off on that. Also, did I, I, I seem to be uh, seeing new foes. What are these? Wraith. They have they give mana burn, magical attack, physical resist 30%. So these guys have mana burn. Mana burn sucks a lot. I don't like mana burn. So what is this? Oh, glowing guardian. Oh, I hate glowing guardian so much. So much do I hate Glowing Guardian. Um, but do I want to take Glowing Guardian? Those who stay in the light will become the light. The spoon enhance the chance to play uh, prayer beads you're currently carrying. Each bead will provide one extra health, 1% uh, bonus damage, another 1% uh, magic resistance. 1 XP and 10 immediate conversion points. The player also receives a once-off bonus of 5 maximum mana and a curse wipe um the problem with the glowing guardian is it means we must um resist the al ghul um which is a great great reference if you've been watching my thursday streams um i like i like potions and i i make use of them a lot um so i really don't like not potions um Wow, I, I'm going to have to use this potion, by the way. Because I... Yeah. All right, I'm going to use biceps. And I'm going to um, slam this guy. Slam. And then I'm going to recover slightly. And I should be able to kill them with another biceps. There we go. Perfect. And that leveled up. That leveled us up to four. I'm not going to kill uh, a, t a wraith. Although we actually do pretty good damage to the wraith, I have to say. Um, we're not going to do that though. So we're at level four. We want to, uh, we can start hitting Medusas. Actually, this is great because their death gaze is 50% and they're not going to put us at 50%. So I'm pretty sure we can kill them easily. So that's actually a really easy win. If this level five is another Medusa, that's amazing. No, it's a, it's a goblin. Um, we can certainly do some damage on the goblin, but that's going to, oh, that's actually not going to take our death protection. That's amazing. So we are able to to kill uh, level fives pretty pretty effectively. How do we get beads, by the way? Humility. Those who know their place will ultimately find themselves in glory. The character's level number will be decreased by one, but will not lower health, base damage, or XP. Um. I don't understand how one uses this. I really don't. Cause like it lowers your your level, but not your base uh not your base health base your health base damage or XP. So what does that mean? Where does what does that mean? Like what does the level mean then? Absolution. Evil can be redeemed once one enemy equal level or lower is removed from the game, granting plus four maximum health. Doesn't affect undead opponents or create creatures on different dungeon levels adds prayer bead to inventory um interesting so you you use this to gain max hp and also prayer beads you do that enough times and then eventually you can do enlightenment to turn all your prayer beads into bonuses cleansing is fine um I don't like Glowing Guardian. I'm just going to say it. I don't like them. Plus two health on pickup. Nah, 
pass. Let's kill this, uh, this goblin. I'm killing level fives easily. Easily. We got a level six over here. We could uh, possibly take out a level six. Problem is, is that this will remove my death protection. I don't want to do that necessarily. Oh, we're so close to killing them. I could take a health potion, but I don't want to waste that either. That'll remove our death protection. That'll still remove our death protection. Um, I don't know if this is the best method. Yeah, I don't think it is because I can't I can't keep up with their with them like they they have more health recovery than I do um, Let's see what this level six over here is serpent uh, that sucks because of poisonous But I could do that We'll gain a little bit of XP from them and we can we can use a, a health potion to recover we probably should actually you know it occurs to me that even just taking damage from this guy is giving us some xp and in fact that's gonna level us up well won't it will it no it doesn't i don't know why it didn't we're level five and this is level six so we should be able to this is gonna kill our death protection but i'm gonna do it why didn't they die? Why they didn't die? Why? Why though? Okay, well, we just uh, found a burn to raise, so that actually helps a lot. I just completely threw away our, um... We just, I, I just completely threw away our death protection, but that's okay, because Tarog is here, and I love Tarog. I love Tarog because Tarog is easy. Very easy to wrap my, my puny head around. So I'm going to go ahead and convert her spell and gain some favor with Tarog. And I'm going to take their sword and I'm going to pick up their sword and I'm going to maybe um, pick, I'm going to pick up these two things and I'm going to go ahead and gra grab the shield because that's an easy pickup right there. And then I'm going to grab this extra mana and that's easy as well. Love Tarog. Tarog's going to be a little pissy with me when I use spells to kill this guy here. Um, only a fool would so boldly reject Targ's gifts. May your body become as frail as your spirit. Oh, well, that was silly. What did we get? Damage reduction? I don't know what I did. Oh, I, I lost my bonus damage. Oh my god. Yeah, you really can't pl play around with gods. They, they are, like, very immediately pissy with you. If you if I guess uh, what my mistake there was not um, gaining extra like I, I really needed to gain some extra favor with them before I did that. Oh, I hate this. I don't like that. This guy's going to mana burn me. Uh, we're all at level six. We don't need to attack that guy. We can attack meat man though. Meat man's an easy, easy win. I guess I was using um, biceps there, so I probably pissed off Tarog quite quite the quite the lot. I really should just get rid of uh, biceps. It's too too tempting for me. Um, in fact, we could do that if I convert it. I don't know how much favor I'm going to get with Tarog, but probably not uh, a lot. Let's just kill that level four dude. I think at level four, you can't really manipulate a level four into higher XP anymore. So you may as well just kill them. Same level. I mean, level twos and threes are, are pretty much the same. This will not level us up. Let's see what this level six is. Oh, God, another wraith. Um, not sure if maybe I can't just like kill this wraith here. Yeah, let's kill this wraith here. That'll level us up and then we're no longer mana burned. And then I'm going to go ahead and I think I have enough for another uh, Tarog item. Let's grab that. I'm going to... Does this take up inventory space? It does. Let's get rid of biceps. I Listen, I love biceps. You know I do. And we're not even converting it into anything useful. We're just doing it for extra um, Tarog reputation. And in fact, it was worth it because we can grab the armor. Uh, I would love to keep this fine sword. 
I don't know is if I dropped the perseverance badge spoon and okay the fine sword is oh, I really want to keep the fine sword the fine sword is like one of the few items that we can actually keep and use in future runs like I could I could bring this on future runs so I think actually I'll pass on Tarog's armor I don't think I need it um we can start buying death protection we're at level seven we could start um hitting meat man except this guy is gonna kill me he, i don't have enough health um let's see what this level eight over here is they are a warlock god tarug's items don't actually make up enough difference well this will give us a little bit of uh, xp just by taking some damage Um, I could take a health potion and then kill them. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my god, that's not enough. I really thought I was going to be able to do that. Oh, that sucks so much. Okay, we did it. Oh my god, that was that was almost awful. Let's grab that health potion up here and kill this snake. We're making progress towards level eight. We got a zombie here. Zombies are generally pretty easy. At least you don't have to galaxy brain them too much. Um, meat man. No. At full health, I might be able to take out this wraith. And that would level us up. So I don't worry. I'm not worried too much about the mana burn. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. If I had biceps, I really shouldn't have gotten rid of biceps. That was so stupid. There's another mana potion here. I I think if I desecrate glowing guardian, uh, I will lose like all of my items, so it's not worth it. I don't I don't know why where that thought came from, but I was just thinking out loud. Um what about this level seven? We could just kill this level seven, maybe. What about this level six up here? That would not level me up. I need to gain like 10 XP. So if I kill this Wraith somehow, it would be worth it. So I could use a health potion to do that. Perfect. Okay, we're at level 8. Can we kill the zombie? No. Zombie actually does quite a lot of damage, so uh, never mind what I said before about them being easy. I should be able to kill this zombie, though, maybe. Can I kill them? Yeah. Nice. Okay, uh, do we have enough for death protection? Yeah, we do. Wait, why can't I grab it? Do I need to have all the items before I can take this? I'm pretty sure I bought everything. Um, hmm. Can I drop this on the ground? I don't think so. I think I have to convert it. Uh. Alright, I'll convert the fine sword. You twisted my arm, I guess. Yeah, you need to have all of Tarog's gear before he'll give you the death protection. That's kind of annoying. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm also not a huge fan of not killing that Wraith in one move. All right. Um, really not sure what we're doing here. I don't have enough money to get this potion. I don't really have enough anything right now. I haven't even found the... Oh, I guess the boss is over there. Let's go see the boss. Oh, of course it's a wraith. And we're not even close. Like, look at that. What is what is going on there? It's because these they've got physical resistance 60%. Am I... I don't think I can actually kill them. I think I need to hit them with magic. They have only magic resist 10%. So we're doing this with elf fighter... And yet we're not... There's no way we can take this out. Let's see if we can't do this down here. We can certainly hit them. Well, oh, I see. Um... 
So it seems to me that you need to kill them both at the same time. I'm actually not sure how one would do that. I guess one thing you could do, one way I would think to do it is um, using the swap spell to swap Yang into, like, right next to Ying, and then using uh, Pissorf to smack them both together. That's the only way I could see of doing it. That's probably a method. So, what are we doing here? Um, I need to get to level 9, I think, at the very least. Can, oh, we can kill Meat Man here. That's an easy win. Can we kill this Meat Man? I don't think so. Maybe... No, I don't think so. Uh, I might, like, kill a few of my snacks. Just to gauge where we're at XP-wise. Um, also, it tells me how much favor we have for the sake of buying multiple death protections. So I'm going to kill... We, we, we should be getting fairly close to level 9. Uh, I hate that this... Okay, well, that, uh, that'll actually level us up. This wraith here will level us up. Um, so I could smack this nine a couple of times. One, two, we'll do it three times, and then we'll kill this wraith here to level up. Excuse me? Okay, that's fine. So we did level up, and now we can smack, smack that nine. And, um, that was, you know, that, that gave, gave us a little bit. So we're at level 9 now. I don't know if we can kill the 10. Oh god. You know what? I need health potions. Can we kill the zombie? I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, to be honest. Oh, we had uh, extra damage here that I didn't see. That's going to maybe make the zombie possible. That'll kill our death protection. But there's no reason to do that, because it's not going to level us up. It's not actually gaining us anything. I I think we're done. I, I don't think that there's any way we can do this. I think I the only way to kill a wraith is with spells. And we had a pretty decent spell, but I threw it away. And the thing is, is like, you know, maybe maybe the, the lesson here is don't necessarily take gods. Gods are not always going to be the answer. And I, I'm hearing that, I guess. I guess I hear that. I just don't like that. I want to take gods, because I, even though they are kind of the worst, I like them. Wow, really? One health? You're going to put it down to one health. My god. <laughs> oh, look at that. We got a spell. <laughs> I really want to kill this guy without using up our death protection, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah. That's going to give us not enough favor, but some favor. Why am I doing all of this? Well, um, I was kind of hoping that I could get through the rest of this dungeon um, with the potential of buying a second death protection. Uh, I don't think that that's going to make a difference, though. Maybe man Does mana burn only work when you have mana? Attack, burn, target mana. Magical attack deals magic damage. I'm wondering, like, I, I thought that, that maybe there's a, um... There's an enemy that they, they do damage based on how much mana you have. So if you have no mana, then you're good. I guess I could have probably used that. I just converted it for Tarog, but uh, maybe that was a mistake. Because, oh god, yeah, that was a mistake. Because I, I would have had enough mana. I could have, like, started converting some of the terrain into protection. But it's doing magical damage. So I don't think that the protection is actually any good. I don't know. Let's just start hitting him. Oh, 
yeah, this is this is absolutely feeble. Well, we got him down to half health. I don't know why I did that, but uh, you know, I did it. Okay, can we leave? Retire. You didn't win, but don't despair. You're clearly getting better. You killed 38 monsters. That's near your previous best of 40. You leveled up eight times. That's near your previous best of nine. I still haven't gotten to level 10 yet. Okay, well, I didn't win, but I get to keep my stuff. Um, and that's good enough. Greetings, compulsive and hordesome kingdom administrator. If your adventurers ever feel the urge to stash, stash some particularly interesting loot after a dungeon run, you should take advantage of the guild's adventuring locker. Select the building now. It costs gold to keep items. This will be useful. Songs will be sung of this drag effort. <laughs> Dexterous administrator, this item will stay in the locker until you're ready to use it for another dungeon run. It costs money to equip locker items. Just take like other preparations. If you're unsatisfied with a locker choice, you can always replace it with something else. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, that's I would I would deem that as a being our first official failure, but um, it's it is what it is, and and I'm not going to apologize for it. I think I I did my best. It's just my best was not good enough to succeed. Um, if you did enjoy this video, definitely, uh, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys, uh, next time. We'll see if we can't, uh, try something else, do a different quest. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Take it easy.